What's up folks, this is Sean and welcome back to the video blog. Now today I just decided to, uh, you know, quickly prop up my camera and uh, speak at my, while I'm at my desk in order to talk about something that happened recently. Um, yesterday, a man named uh, Hiroshi Yamauchi, which uh, a person I will refer to from this point on as Yamauchi-san, um, passed away at the age of 85. Now, um, the reason why I wanted to speak on this is because this, you know, According to a lot of the content that I've been uh, taking a look at and reading over the, uh, over the past few hours, it seems that this man had a, a huge impact on the video game industry, even go as far as make it the, uh, make it the industry that it is today. Now, as my limited understanding that uh, you know back in the 80s, um, yeah, there was an overabundance of, uh, of video game um, merchandise out there, you know, like, uh, you know, video game systems, uh, video, uh, video game cartridges, uh, companies like Atari and ColecoVision at each other's throats trying to get business. Um, there was just a lot of merchandise out there, and you had a consumer base that just didn't know what to do. I mean, you had so many games out there that they looked so similar to each other. They just felt that, you know, it wasn't worth their time and effort in order to figure it out. So you had a whole bunch of video game merchandise just sitting on the shelves, and it looked like the video game industry was going to be crushed under its own weight. But um, then you have a, a company named Nintendo, which was a small um, trading card and toy company at the time. You know, they threw their uh, their hat into the arena, and they just um, you know floored everybody. I mean. And, and, and it was with the Nintendo Entertainment System that really got me into video gaming myself. Uh, and at the time, Yamauchi-san was the president of Nintendo. And, you know, a lot of people were saying that it was his vision, and it's, it, you know, his um, you know, unique and, and, and powerful vision that enabled Nintendo to be the juggernaut that it is today. And if that's the case, then I gotta say, wow. I, I got, I mean, it's this guy that I got thanks to exposing me to games like uh, uh, Super Mario Brothers, Mega Man, Castlevania, uh, Tecmo Bowl, the uh, games that I support so many hours in back in the day. It's this man that I gotta thank for exposing me to the arcade scene where I got um, uh, exposed to this awesome community that taught me how to play games like Street Fighter 2 and it uh, lasted me for years. Uh, exposed me to the competitive uh, fighting game scene and all of that good stuff. I gotta say, that's amazing. Um, it also exposed me to very po uh, popular like uh, rivalries. I bore witness to ex <laughs> awesome rivalries like between uh, Sega and Nintendo. You know, Sega with their uh, Sega does what uh, Genesis does what Nintendo don't, and uh, now you're playing with Power Super Power. I mean, all of these. Uh, um, awesome marketing campaigns that just bore out you know, back in the day just brought out the best in each of these video game companies and uh, they pushed each other in order to create some great games. It was a great time to be a gamer and um, this hobby that I'm talking about, you know, video games in general, is, is something that has grown up with me, you know? The content in which these games, you know, yeah, in which these, um, in which, yeah, the audience in which these games targeted uh, seemed to appeal um, to when I was a kid and when I grew up. There were games that uh, appealed to me that when I was an adult. So, uh, you know, all of these uh, things I got to thank Yamauchi-san for. Uh, I got I to say that's amazing. And uh, I just got to tip my hat to, to him. I, I acknowledge him and... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to see him leave. Uh, I'm sorry that I did not um, know about this man's efforts before his passing. That's one thing that I really regret. Um, and, uh, you know, I just wanted to, uh, you know, make an effort that, you know, since I'm, you know, starting a blog about video games, at the very least I should know is uh, the names behind the, the games that I enjoy so much because, you know, if without them, then I wouldn't be playing these games. So I want to thank Yamauchi-san. I want to uh, give a shout out to the friends and family. And, you know, this is a man that uh, has touched so many people. And um, yeah, uh, I salute the guy. Awesome. Also, um, in order to uh, give a little bit more insight about uh, Yamauchi-san, I decided to uh, include a video by the 
people at IGN, uh, another video game publisher, uh, you know, you know, publication. Uh, I want to uh, give a little bit more insight as to you know what this man is about. Uh, yeah, these guys have some awesome factoids, about, you know, about Yamauchi-san that I feel that you guys should be checking out. And if you have any comments about uh, this whole thing, feel free to leave them here. I would like to hear from uh, fellow gamers out there. Um, I'm sure there are a lot of you that um, feel that this guy has uh, you know affected your lives. Um, both uh, as a hobbyist and as a professional uh, professional gamer or professional uh, game developer, um, this is um, pretty heavy stuff. So feel free to uh, comment on this. And that's going to end it for today's video. And uh, until next time, this is Sean. I'm out. Peace out.